Hello, I'm Keith M. Nedved, Education Coordinator for PBS Western Reserve here in Kent, Ohio. Welcome to Digital Learning Day 2020. During this presentation, if you have any questions or concerns, please follow the tiny URL link located on this slide and it will take you to an interactive Google document. There your questions will be answered and addressed. The topic for this presentation is Invention Literacy, Makers and Makerspaces, hashtag Makerspace, hashtag MakerEd, and hashtag Maker. Let's begin by ask, asking the question, what is Invention Literacy? Well, Invention Literacy, according to Jay Silver, is the ability to read and write human-made stuff, from toasters to apps. People think inventors perform magic, but invention is no more magical than reading and writing a sentence. Let's watch this video on Invention Literacy by Jay Silver. To empower people to feel like the world's not fixed and I have the power to change it. The world wasn't always the way it is, and you can change the way it is. And that's what tinkering is basically made of. I can see human-made world as actually just something invented by someone else. And then I can be the person to invent new parts of the world. Right now I'm on a mission to help people learn how to invent things. People of all types, not experts, not CEOs, not presidents, not scientists, but everyday people inventing and understanding inventions. Inventing brings people all kinds of creative confidence and belief in themselves and belief that they can change the world, which is a very powerful feeling to have as a human. You look around the world that you live in, you grab things, you change what their purpose is, and become entranced with the world. To empower All right. Well, that's Jay Silver's definition of invention literacy. His mission is to have people inspired to invent. And not just some people, all people, the common people, to have this power in themselves that if they can invent, they can change the world. Well, let's ask, who is Jay Silver? Well, Jay Silver is an electrical engineer and toy inventor from Cocoa Beach, Florida. Silver is the founder and CEO of Joy Labs slash Makey Makey and was the first ever maker research scientist at Intel. In 2012, Silver founded Makey Makey, an invention kit for everyone, a toy that allows its users to connect everyday objects, things like fruit and silverware, to computer programs. Makey Makey was written about in Mashable, Wired, New Scientists, among other magazines. It was named one of the best toys by Popular Science in 2014. Well, what is a makerspace? Well, makerspaces are also known as fab labs, tech shops, and hackerspaces, but the general term is makerspace. A makerspace is a collaborative workspace inside a school, library, or separate public-slash-private facility for making, learning, exploring, and sharing that uses high-tech to no-tech tools. These spaces are open to kids, adults, and entrepreneurs and have a variety of maker equipment, including 3D printers, laser cutters, CNC machines, soldering irons, and even sewing machines. A makerspace, however, does not need to include all these machines or even any of them to be considered a makerspace. If you have cardboard, Legos, and art supplies, you're in business. As an example, here is a makerspace in Dresden, Germany. Makerspaces are global. This is not just an Ohio process or American process. Makerspaces are found throughout the world. But there are several makerspaces in Ohio. This is an image of Spark Place in Greene County, Ohio at the Greene County Library. But once again, makerspaces are found in elementary schools, libraries, middle schools, high schools, professional buildings, any place that wants to develop the invention literacy mindset, makerspaces are wonderful for. Makey Makey, once again, is the product that Jay Silver created to promote invention literacy. Makey Makey is described as one of the most successful and versatile invention literacy tools in recent years. 
a disarmingly simple device that leads itself to a myriad of applications within content areas and across grade bands. Makey Makey literally can be used in kindergarten class, first grade, third grade, fourth grade, all the way up into high school. Every subject, there is a role for Makey Makey. It delivers problem-solving opportunities for students to collaborate, communicate, design, make, and program their own inventive solutions to everyday issues. Makey Makey is incredibly flexible. It is, again is used by elementary, middle school, and high school teachers. The project you're able to complete with Makey Makey ranges from simple to very complex. Leveraging design thinking, Makey Makey offers students STEM-based engagement that is human-centered, experimental, and optimistic. And on this slide, you have the Makey Makey logo, and then you have the Makey Makey kit that is the root of all Makey Makey invention theories. It includes these kid-friendly alligator clips, a connector that puts the Makey Makey controls to your computer, and several different uh, wires that allow students to discover the ideas and the concepts behind circuits. This plugs directly into your computer. There's no downloading. There's no uh, extra machines needed. It, it begins working immediately. Also with the Makey Makey, you receive a little sticker pack as well as a very comprehensive directions. Let's watch these two quick little videos on the potential of Makey Makey. And I'm Eric. We're graduate students at MIT Media Lab. We have a dream that everyone is an inventor. So we created Makey Makey to let you invent just by alligator clipping. Alligator clips stuff like bananas to your Makey Makey. When you touch the banana, your computer just thinks you're touching the keyboard. The front has arrow keys, spacebar, and mouse left click. When you're ready for more, flip the Makey Makey over and you've got more keyboard keys and support for the mouse. You can even use the board like an Arduino when you are ready. No programming, no breadboarding. You don't even have to install software. Just plug it in USB. Order your Makey Makey today and start changing how the world works. All right, thank you for watching that video. Uh, I think it clearly demonstrates the potential Makey Makey has. Um, students see it, and they're inspired to create creative actions like displayed on that video. But I will also say that my father, who was in his 70s, who has a difficult time with computers, um, really enjoyed the Makey Makey because he's of the generation that understands uh, circuits and a little bit more electronics, but the computers are foreign to him. And it really helped me bridge the gap between my father's knowledge and computer knowledge by having him ex experiment with the Makey Makey control. This next video is Makey Makey that has a musical inspiration to it, and it's really clever.
All right, well, that video more focused on music uh, really, I think, shows the potential of making making. As someone that's taught in middle school and high school environments, there's two things that we cannot argue that this, this generation of kids love, and that, of course, is video games and music. And Making Makey allows you to bring in both of those wonderful resources into the educational environment. The students are excited because they get to play music, they get to play video games, but they're doing it in a unique, inventive way. Uh, it really expands that uh, experience of music or video games into something much more educational and much more um, developmental than just the consumption of music or the consumption of video games. All right, I want to take you next to the Making Makey website. Uh, Makingmakey.com has a wonderful resource uh, for invention literacy only, but also for all the resources they have provided for educators and just hobbyists that are interested in invention literacy. On the Making Makey website, you have how-to guides, you have remapping pages, you have instructional teacher hub, you have frequently asked questions, Making Makey apps, and literally there are thousands of projects and lesson plans that are available on the Making Makey website. Some of these projects are the two button challenge, collaborative sensory maze, plug and play controller, genius hour, exploring emotions with color, interactive drawing posters, voting machine or data tracker, classroom assistant, kid friendly alligator clips, the resources here on Making Makey are comprehensive. They are simple. They um, are friendly to both teacher and student, to uh, homeschool parents. They are wonderful resources, and there are literally thousands of resources available on the Making Makey website. Making Makey and the Maker Revolution is not just an Ohio thing, but there is a large element here in Ohio. There are several maker fairs and maker exhibits that display this maker mindset. Uh, maker X is in Columbus, Ohio this February. Uh, Cleveland Maker Fair is in Cleveland, Ohio in November. And the smaller Stark Mini Maker Fair is going to be in May at Stark County Library in Canton, Ohio. But again, maker events are a global phenomenon. Maker events are worth traveling for. You can go to Cairo. You can go to Berlin. You can go to Germany. You can go anywhere and find maker events. Okay. And to kind of end this presentation, I want to take you to some of the maker spaces experts in their books. There are tons of resources on the Making Maker website once again, but there are also an unbelievable amount of maker space experts. And these experts have capitalized on this movement and created wonderful resources for anybody that's interested in makerspaces, either at beginning level or an advanced level. And so I just want to quickly go through some of the leading experts on makerspaces. First, we have Laura Fleming. All right. You can go to her website, theworldoflearning.com, and you can contact her on Twitter at lflemingedu. Uh, she created the book, The Kickstart Guide of to Making Great Maker Spaces, a wonderful resource that we own here and I look at almost daily. The next is uh, Sylvia Martinez and Gary Stagger. Uh, you can find Sylvia on Twitter as Martinez and Gary at Gary Stagger. Um, they created the book Invent to Learn. Making, Tinkering, and Engineering in the Classroom. And it's a very comprehensive book that can allow you to integrate many making making principles and makerspace principles into your classroom, regardless of the subject. Next we go with John Spencer and A.J. Giuliani. Um, they created two books that are very instrumental towards the Make Revolution, Launch and Empower, and you could find these gentlemen at Spencer Ideas and ajulian.com. 
Next, we have Karen Wilkinson and Mike Petrick. They created the book, The Art of Tinkering. Um, you can find that at explorium.edu. Uh, both these people are employed by that corporation, and they create wonderful resources. It's one of my favorite uh, book series, book production companies, and The Art of Tinkering is a wonderful book. Next we have Mark Hatch. You can locate Mark Hatch on Twitter at Mark Hatch, or you can go to MarkHatch.com. But Mark Hatch has created two books on the Maker uh, policies. The first one is The Maker Revolution, and then the next one is The Maker Movement Manifesto. Uh, very influential in the marker, Maker Movement. And next we have Scott Dorley. Uh, Scott Dorley can be found on Twitter at Scott Dorley, or you can go to scottdorley.com. Uh, a very creative individual. He created the book Make Space. Um, he is uh, very influential on the West Coast of the makerspace movement. And then finally, we have Colleen and Aaron Graves, a husband and wife expert team on the makerspace concept. You can find Colleen on Twitter at, Colleen, at Graves Colleen and Aaron at Graves dot Aaron. Uh, or you can go to the Colleen's website at ColleenGrave.org. Now, Colleen and her husband created the Big Book of Maker Space and 20 Makey Makey projects for evil geniuses. And she also contributes to numerous other sites. And I want to show you this ed. Utopia, Starting School Makerspace from Scratch by Colleen Graves. It lists a considerable amount of great resources on creating a makerspace to kind of eliminate some of the tension towards it. Um, in this article, she talks about step one, immerse yourself in maker education. Step two, get others involved. Step three, purchasing makerspace resources which you really don't have to purchase. You can kind of just recycle a lot of product, products. Step four, building a community of makers. Step five, hosting workshops and design challenge. And step six, integrating maker education into the curriculum. She outlines how to do it. It's a wonderful resource on Edutopia. All right, if you're intimidated by starting a makerspace, here's a material list and helpful advice. One from makerspace.com. The next one from Fractious Learning. The next one from Ed Utopia. The next one is from Ed Tech. And the last one is from Nerdy Teacher. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. Uh, the link to the question and answer document is tinyurl t2jgkrt, excuse me, or you can go to the direct link on it. If you are taking this course for certifications, please enter the cert certification code LTY14, all capitals is required. Thank you very much and enjoy your digital learning day.